Hi guys, it's Maddie and today's video is going to be a flipping through a 1950s cookbook. But I'm starting new um, vintage videos on my channel. Um, I'm really into vintage stuff, not as crazy as Disney, which you guys know is kind of the main focus of my channel is Disney and makeup and fashion. However, I do really like vintage stuff as well. So I'm going to be starting that series today. And the first thing I'll be doing is flipping through this cookbook. I said, I think I said 1950s earlier. This is actually 1960s. Um, but it is a really cool um, cookbook filled with a lots of yummy recipes. And maybe in my next video, I can actually make a recipe from this book. That would be really cool. Um, but yeah, let's get started. So this is a Better Homes and Gardens Pies and Cakes book. And this is what the front cover looks like. There's this, and then it has this. It has all these yummy cakes and pies on the front, and then it has um, kind of a uh, contents, table of contents. Is that what it's called? I don't know. <laughs> and then I know that this is from the 60s because it says right here, copyright 1966. So we know what year this is from. I actually got this from a antique store in Boulder City, I think. Yeah, on my birthday. And yeah, it says on our cover, there is a cherry raspberry pie and a tropical chiffon cake. So that's tropical chiffon. That's the cherry one. And yeah, let's jump into the introduction. Perfect pies. Isn't that adorable? So it says a man's first choice of dessert pie of course we got to think about our husbands and everything that they want to eat um that's why one of our first baking ventures of a bride is likely to be a pie and why experienced cooks serve pie for almost every special occasion that's why we've devoted the first section of this book to pie recipes and then it says everything else each recipe has been carefully tested to ensure best results each time it is made it says perennial fruit pie favorites. So they have the world's greatest apple pie here, and then they've got all the other pies on the page. That's really cool. There's, I know there's pictures on the next page. Oh, uh, guys, look how good this golden peach pie looks. Oh, I wish I could eat it. There's all sorts of peach and orange pies on here. I guess there's a lot of different types of peach pie. I love all the little tea sets that they have in here. It's super cute, the little pie cutter. Guys, look how cute. Look how cute this Christmas pie is. It says, a star-shaped cutout adds a festive touch to a spicy mock mince pie. Jelly cranberry sauce sparks the spicy flavor of this pie. Apparently cranberries are spicy, I don't know. Um, there's all sorts of different ones on here. There's this little fruit basket pie right there. I believe that's what it's called. Yes, a fruit cup pie served with warm ice cream is a real hearty treat. <laughs> this part is in black and white. That's interesting. That's all black and white. It says petite fruit pies, like mini pies. Um, and then it shows you that you can use these tins to measure out the um dough or not the dough the pie crust and then you poke it it says fit pastry and tart pans below trim pastry half an inch beyond edge turn under and flute prick bottom and sides well bake at 450 for 10 to 12 minutes to make throw away tart pans from aluminum foil roll out pastry on heavy duty aluminum foil and cut through the foil and pastry five dark inches I think I read that wrong. Five inch circles. I don't know where I got the dark from. I'm crazy. Ooh, these are my favorite kinds. Smooth cream pies. Banana cream pie is me and my dad's favorite. It's so yummy. Chocolate cream pie, vanilla cream pie, meringue, butterscotch. And then this shows them filling them right here. And it says, it says add small amount of hot mixture to beaten egg yolks, blend and return to hot mixture. Pour hot filling into cooled bake, baked pastry shell. Spread meringue on the hot filling. To prevent shrinking, carefully seal meringue to edge of pastry all the way around. So it looks like that. That's really cool, and that's how you make meringue pies, apparently. Lemon meringue pie, ooh, that is my 
favorite. So yummy. More black and white photos. I guess not everything was printed in color. Maybe that was too expensive or something. Strawberry pineapple cream. There's cheesecake. <gasps> pumpkin pie. It's called Grandma's Pumpkin Pie. Cute. It says, two-tone holiday pie is the grand finale for a festive meal. Velvety pumpkin custard and a rich, rich mince meat. Traditional favorites get a speedy start from convenient foods. Ooh, orange chiffon. Took up a whole page, it's so pretty. And they've got all sorts of fruity pies here. This is the classic lime one, I'm pretty sure. That's what it says. Um, cantaloupe lime pie. Wow. Cantaloupe, I've never thought to do that. Gels and crusts, they have a whole section dedicated to making the perfect crust. I think that's pretty cool. Because usually I just buy pie crust when I make pies, but it'd probably be better and like worth the time and effort to actually make your own crust. Oh, and this shows you the different designs you can do. That's really cool. I don't know if you can see that. I'm having a hard time showing you. But it looks really cool. They have different like things. Pastry petals. Now we move on to the perfect cake. It says, cakes move in happy social circles. What birthday party or wedding reception would be complete without a cake? At graduation parties and anniversary celebrations, bridal showers and neighborhood coffees, we spotlight cake too. No food triumph makes a woman prouder than serving a beautiful cake, light and tender, delicately flavored and evenly grained. It can be an achievement of anyone who carefully follows a few simple rules. So success in cake baking is not due to good luck or a special touch for baking. Success results from accurate measuring and proper mixing from using the technique best for the kinds and portions of ingredients, and from correct baking. In short, success is due to following a good recipe to the letter. Anyone can use Better Homes and Gardens tested recipes with confidence. This is the toasted butter pecan cake. Time to eat. Okay. <laughs> so now we are on to wonderful chocolate cakes. Everyone's favorite, am I right? <clears throat> it says cocoa fudge cake, best fudge cake, sweet chocolate, spiced chocolate, devil's food, elegant white cakes. Pretty that is with the ice cream in there and then they've got all the little bars with, is that fruit on there? I think that's just like frosting piped, but that is so cool. Most beautiful cake in any girl's life is her wedding cake. This cake designed for a small reception is made from three 13 by nine two inch petite flowers cakes. Petite forest cakes. <laughs> then it is frosted and decorated with boiled frosting and sugar bells. What is boiled frosting? I bet they have that in here, but isn't that a pretty cake? It's so small though, but they did say a small reception. Poppy seed, creamy white cake. I think by white it's vanilla, or maybe the frosting is white? No, I think it is vanilla, because this one says golden yellow cakes. This says burnt sugar cake. <laughs> That's cute. Ooh, savory spice cakes. Look how good that looks. Oh, mm, cupcake treat. Mm, cupcake treat. That is super fun. Maybe I'll make cupcakes in my video. I feel like a pie would be too complicated, especially in old timey like wording because I'm already like stupid. So I'm just kidding. <laughs> Upside down and pudding. Pudding, 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 pudding. Pudding cakes? Pineapple cake, rhubarb cake, fudge pudding cake, date pudding cake. Dates are really good and underrated. Dates deserve more love and affection. They're so yummy. The lightest cakes ever. Angel cake. Ooh, angel food cake is so good. We have log cakes. Lincoln log cake? That is so cute. It says, Lincoln log is jelly roll deluxe. Not a speedy recipe, but it is easier to make than it looks and well worth the fuss. Filling for rich chocolate sponge cake is whipped cream. Mm. Finishing touches, that's all the frosting and stuff. Ooh, that looks super good. What cake is that? I think that's a pecan cake. Sour cream frosting, milk chocolate frosting, cake decorating ideas. That's fun. Here's the boiled frosting thing we were looking at. Um, it's granulated sugar, water, cream of tartar, four eggs, vanilla, and confectioner sugar. Oh, I think you you literally use like hot water and stuff. They have all these tips, like tip piping decorations and designs that you can learn how to do. Then we have the index. 
And that is the end. We have gone through this thing roughly, but we have. So that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I thought it was really fun to look through this. Um, I would like to get more vintage cookbooks, maybe from the 50s and like 40s and less into the 60s. 60s? <laughs> I can't talk. But if you do enjoy this series, please give it a thumbs up and let me know in the comments if I should do more vintage videos and if I should try and make a recipe out of this book. And yeah, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.